in a hangar at Holloman Air Force Base, a German tornado jet is powering up for the first training exercise of the day. The final pre-flight checks are done, the pilots climb aboard and the bomber is taxiing to the runway for takeoff. In the next hangar, Luftwaffe Master Sergeant Stefan Milner and his maintenance crew are getting the next tornado ready to fly. The German Air Force Flying Training Center was established at Holloman 20 years ago. The controlled airspace and sparsely populated desert is the perfect environment to train pilots in low-level flying and bombing. Clear and warm conditions means they can train 300 days out of the year. Look at the weather. The sun is shining. Um, it's always warm. Uh, it's a mild winter here. There's no snow. Um, where I come from, it's always cloudy and, you know, it's not such a great weather, so it's, it's amazing. These days, the Luftwaffe is changing its strategy, with tornadoes playing a smaller and different role. In 2005, the Germans were training with 38 tornado jets at Holloman. Today, there are only 14 on base. Training Centre Commander Stefan Breidenbach says the shrinking fleet makes the mission hard to justify. Now the number of tornadoes is so small that basically to operate them efficiently, we need to just reduce the base and consolidate the tornadoes at the two remaining air bases in Germany to have uh, efficient logistics and also to have the crews together. Over the past five years, Germany paid the US government $151.3 million to train at Holloman. But this year, the German military announced the centre will be closed down by 2019, when its current contract runs out. The German contract to fly these tornado jets at Holloman Air Force Base was worth millions. But the Germans' departure might be a bigger blow to neighbouring town, Alamo. Gordo. Real estate agent LeBron Little is pitching a for lease sign in the front yard of a new house on the market. He says it's the kind German families rent. The Germans love to rent around the uh, golf course area. They're always looking for a house with a pool. They're wanting the, uh, some of the higher priced homes and they're wanting something really nice. They do a lot of entertaining. Vacant houses have littered the streets of Alamogordo since the 2008 recession. Little says the Germans' departure will result in a 15% loss for the rental market and about 400 more vacant houses in town. There are around 1,200 Germans in Alamogordo making it the largest community of German expatriates in the US. Alamogordo has the largest public German school outside Germany, along with German-run charities, a church and a German food section at Walmart. And every year they throw an Oktoberfest that brings people to Alamogordo in their thousands. It's German beer, food and entertainment, especially flown in from Germany. That's where Milner met his American girlfriend. He says he enjoys the cultural exchange. I love the burgers. The burgers? Yes, I love, <laughs> I love the burgers. Um, no, the burgers are my, my favourite and I'm eating a lot of it. <laughs> Milner says he's not ready to leave America. You feel more free. You can, um, you can basically do whatever you want um, if you don't harm someone. And, and that's pretty cool. In, in Germany, it, it just doesn't feel so, so free. They do a lot of traveling. They like to buy cars, uh, motorcycles. Uh, they like to have the American experience, if you will, while they are here. That's New Mexico State Senator Bill Burt. He says the German contract to fly came at a crucial time in the 90s when Holloman was being considered for closure. The loss of the Germans will be dramatic for Holloman Air Force Base and for the community of Alamogordo. Um, uh, just as much as we hate losing, having the economic impact, we're going to lose our friends. Bert points to the millions in infrastructure the Germans are leaving behind, hangars and office buildings that he says could draw in another mission to fill the void the Germans will leave. But Master Sergeant Milner says he won't be taking off just yet. When the base closes, he says he's going to resign from the German military, just so he can stay in America with his girlfriend. He's applying to universities in California to study business administration, so he can get a visa. I went on vacation to San Diego for the 4th of July, and 
that was it. Like, that was it. I was in San Diego, the most beautiful city here in the US. Um, I saw the fireworks, the, um, the party for the 4th of July, and that just, it convinced me that the US is actually um, the place I want to stay and I want to settle. For the Fronteras Desk in New Mexico, I'm Simon Thompson.